All right, so hear me out. InstaWP is coming to our rescue. Today, we're going to be talking about something very different, and that is the five pain points of every freelance web designer. And starting the very, very, very top first one, which I feel deep into my bones, is starting every project with a clean build. So you have to go through the process of installing and setting up your environment from scratch every single time and that can take hours even two hours two hours from which you can focus on actual building the website so that is number one testing and staging environment okay so first of all i create subdomains on my domain for the website that i create for my clients which is sometimes i wouldn't say it's tedious but it comes with its own side effect especially if i crash that website i have to go in the website look for a backup of the subdomain on the domain and it's just it's a hot mess and i honestly am trying to get away from that as much as i can and obviously staging environments for clients some hosting providers are so bad at that that they make it so complicated to create a staging environment and manage it that it's a whole headache client collaboration and feedback so this sometimes can get super complicated especially if the clients are a little bit more demanding they want access or certain accesses that you cannot give them through your hosting and so forth and i think that is one of those big five issues that we face as freelance web designers not to mention managing multiple projects at the same time that means that you are working with different clients on different environments uh, different plugins different setups and it can create a whole lot of mess if you don't know what's what and that makes number four another big one i would say also migrating hustle i would say is somewhere there by now there are nice plugins very good plugins that i have tested lately and i have enjoyed quite a lot i would say that that is also one of those issues that we face as freelance web designers i would say that's number five so let's get into it all right this is the landing page of or the home page of insta wp so if you already have an account you can simply log in here otherwise you have to click on this button that says get start so i'm gonna click on this and you are going to be directed to this screen so i'm gonna continue with email but you can go through the uh, steps of signing up with an email if you don't have an account so simply go through all these screens so i'm gonna go to sign in and i already have my credentials saved so i'm gonna stay sign in okay i would say it doesn't feel like it's too complicated but at first sight but it has a lot of layers so we're not gonna go through everything obviously but we are going to be focusing on how we can make our workflow as a first step faster and we will in the future continue updating this and upgrading these steps as we need and as we as freelance web designers continue to grow in our job i wanted to say quote with quotes but it's a job <laughs> obviously it's a job all right so as you can see i already have created here as test a few staging environments I also have two templates here and I think it's a great product and honestly I wish I knew about it sooner because actually I knew about it sooner but I didn't take action so learn from my mistakes take action after this video if you want test it out play around with it and let us know in the comments below if you like it anyway so let's get started okay so instead of creating this on your server you simply created this environment the development environment you create it here so you don't need to use your hosting provider in any way all right so once you have created your account you will be prompted to this dashboard okay and my dashboard as i said already has a few things but this would be blank for you so uh, let's just go through all this top nav items so let's go to staging here you will have listed all the staging uh, sites that you have created and of course this is the one of the most important part where you can do a few actions we're gonna go over those in a bit 
So here you can actually create templates and you can either import the websites that you can convert to template or create a template from already an existing website that you have on here. All right, here hosting. I'm not sure this is really uh, necessary in our case because I don't know what hosting providers these are. I have never heard of them, never used them. But anyway, connects. This is something that I have not looked into yet, but we will see in the future most likely and this is sort of an overview of everything that you have anyway so let's go back to our staging all right so as you can see here at the top we have import site the option to import the site and add a new site so we can create a new site from absolute scratch there's nothing on it yeah or we can import a site so first let's focus on adding a new site. So I'm going to add a new site and let's check all these WordPress versions. I'm going to go with the latest and the latest PHP version as well. The server location. In my case, I am the closest to the Deutschland at the moment, uh, but you can choose whichever location server you feel that is right. So I'm going to choose Deutschland. I'm going to leave it as is. I don't care about this. And keep this in mind that it will be deleted in 15 days unless you reserve it. But this is something that comes with a paid plan. So as I said, you can also create from a template, but we're going to go over that in a bit. So let's go here. And as you can see, you can configure your site to be a multi-site e-commerce and dev stack. Not sure what dev stack is really, but we will look at, into this at another time. So let's go to next steps. I am not going to be adding anything from here, but it seems like you can actually add stuff. I'm not going to go over that, but we're just going to go and create our website from scratch and that's it. All right. And this is going to take a second. <laughs> I didn't even have time to blink and it was created for us. This is crazy. This is insane. So as you can see, it's it's ready and we can click on uh, this arrow here to open it and have a look. And it's super fast. Also. Obviously, there's nothing really on it at the moment, but let's go and uh, have a look at the backend. So in order to access the backend, you can either just log in normally how you would log in through the press dashboard login screen or click on the magic login and it's going to take you to the backend of your dashboard. And that, that there it is. It's here, right? So let's go to plugins. And as you can see, there's nothing. It's absolutely clean. Let's go to posts. It's just, yeah, we have the normal, obviously, you've seen that before, uh, page. Uh, we have some we have no media we have two pages created here appearance so it's using obviously the the theme of wordpress but you can add a new theme here as you would normally do so you install hello theme especially if you're using elementor uh, this is what i recommend and i'm saying this now because i am um, asked sometimes so yes hello theme by default on any elemental website all right so i'm just going to activate it because i already did it so let's go and visit our website again and as you can see since we have switched the themes this is what we are getting so i'm going to go back to um appearance go to customize and i am going to change my home settings to a static page and okay we have the sample page and eh, whatever i'm gonna leave it as a sample page it's okay this is how it's going to look so yeah this is this is super easy right boom boom there's like no crazy get up set up and you know issues so as you can see since i installed the hello theme elementor has prompted us to install elementor so i'm gonna install elementor and you can install all the plugins that you need for your website to work so i'm going to cl close this i don't want to go through the steps 
but Elementor is already installed. So let's go to plugins and there you go. Elementor is here. And now you can add all the plugins and do all the things that you need to do. And this is basically it. So you can let your client know that the demo website is launched and this is what they are going to be seeing. So if you want to do that, I would say send them either the link. Yeah, you copy the link and you send them the link and that's it and they can follow along to see the progress. Also, you can reserve this because as you can see here, uh, the website will expire in 14 days and 23 hours. So basically in 15 days, websites expire if you don't reserve them. But in order to reserve them, as I said earlier, you have to have a pro plan or a paid plan. So keep that in mind. And you can save this as a template. So if you click here, you can name your template, you can either have the template type private, shared, whatever you feel like, or you can turn this into as an instant template. So basically it will be created for you as you work on it as a template and go live. So you can go live. I'm going to go live. Let's see what is telling us. So this is what we are getting and you can add ssh your link let's go next and these are the plans right so if you want to go live on this you can you have to pay this on the monthly on a monthly basis so let's go to more actions and there's a bunch of things here so 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 many this is something really really cool and as i said it's so easy you saw that like that was done in a fraction of a second act. all right so let's now say that you have already a template you have created a, a template somewhere else and you have downloaded that and now you want to import it here as a template so what you can do is simply go here you're still in staging yes you go to import sites and make sure that you choose one of these. So I uh, have done this with duplicator. So you have to add this duplicator plugin on the website that you are downloading the template from the website from basically as a backup. Yeah. So I am going to upload it and it's going to take a little bit of time. Usually it doesn't take long, but it very much depends on the size of your file so that was pretty much done and now we have to go through the process of naming the site be careful with the naming because if it's test site let's just say that everyone is creating a test site with this name the creation will fail so just name it i don't know whatever site okay it doesn't really matter at this point so i am going to select again the, the, the location being germany and select my latest version of WordPress as well as the latest version of PHP and import site. And this will import it. It's going to take a little bit of time again, depending on how heavy your file is, but it shouldn't take more than a few seconds, I guess, or up to a minute. I don't. All right. And it was done or it took a little, around 40 seconds or so. And that's it. So pretty cool, right? All right. So if I click on this link, I'm going to get a blank page because there's nothing on the website, right? And now we are going to go in the back end of this template that I have created or website that I have imported. And let's go to see what plugins we have here. So I have added most of the plugins that I usually add to a website in the beginning stages, for example, I use a lot of advanced ACF code snippets, the duplicator. I did not delete it before I exported the website, but this is not needed. Obviously Elementor, Elementor Pro, Happy Files for um, file um, organization and Lightspeed Cache. Obviously, I would add more plugins or less plugins depending on the project, but this is kind of what I use out of the box. And there are many other setups that I did settings, but I'm not going to go into it. This is still undergoing work, so it's not something that I would necessarily want to share because it's not finalized. So it's just something to see and that you can add as a template. All right, so let's go back to the dashboard and I want to start a new website. Okay, 
As I said, you don't have to start this website from scratch. For that reason, we're gonna use a template. So you are in staging, yeah, you want to create a staging website, add a new website and not from scratch but from template and for that we need to create a template so i'm gonna go back to templates and i'm gonna add new and as you can see we have this website that we have added five minutes ago so i'm gonna click this one and i'm gonna create a template so i'm gonna say temp site uh, site all right so I'm going to have this as private and I'm going to save it and it has been created. All right. So now I can go to add a new staging site, go to templates and I can add the template that I have just created. So this is the template site that I have created and I'm going to set up all this. For whatever reason, the, the server location is set to US. I don't know why this is. Our site is being created, no problem whatsoever. And it will be done in about 40 seconds, I think. This is how long it takes. Not longer definitely than one minute and voila. So this is our new website. Yeah, keep that in mind. If I go to login, voila and let's go to plugins and these are all the plugins that we had in the starter template so i think this is pretty cool and super useful and i think that is something that you and i and all of us should consider trying and adding into our workflow to minimize friction because there are so many tools these days that we are <laughs> most of the time focusing on how to optimize our workflow but we don't really understand that actually the, the amount of tools that we use is the problem so i think this is a good starting point and it's something to really keep in mind and try to so let's go over pricing to see a little bit so this is the pricing and to be honest this is a fair pricing and this is a fair pricing and this is a fair pricing considering what you are getting for this money so absolutely awesome i will leave a link in the description below so you can have a look and uh, again if you have questions please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, if you want more Insta WP content, let me know in the description below. And if you have any questions, again, let me know and I will try to reply to you as soon as possible. And I'll see you next time. Bye.